Physicists are seeing Jesus in our toast, but for us, Jesus is this formula, which seems like a miracle, so much so that it's hard to dismiss as mere coincidence. The formula is called the Koita formula after its discoverer Yoshio Koita, who stumbled upon it in the 80s when investigating a now defunct model of quarks and leptons. The formula describes a relationship between the masses of the three electron-like particles, called charged leptons, in a very mathematically satisfying way. Initially, Koita's unusual formula was not taken too seriously because the observed masses deviated from what was demanded by the formula by two standard deviations. But a mere few years later, new measurements of the heaviest electron-like particle, the tau, actually agreed with Koita's formula within measurement error. Vindication, or so you might think. But generally speaking, physicists are a skeptical bunch, so without a good theoretical foundation, these kinds of numerical relationships are typically viewed as numerology. And in a sense, this is sort of the right position to take in this setting. The relationship given by the Koita formula depends on the mass of the leptons as measured at low energies. But we expect physics to get messier at low energies than at higher energies, as at low energies, a phenomenon called symmetry breaking occurs. And yet, it's puzzling. Physics is a science about making predictions, so it seems strange that making such an accurate prediction would be so easily dismissed. After all, typically such predictions are a sign of something significant, not unlike how predicting the next card in a poker game is a sign of cheating. So what should we make of this formula? Well, variations on this formula certainly don't work for other fundamental particles like quarks and leptons, and as far as I can tell, there is no theoretically sound and satisfying explanation for it. But if it's really pointing to something deep, either something is special about the charged leptons or something goes wrong for everything else. In that case, the best case scenario is that this phenomenological observation is a hint of physics beyond the standard model. But the worst case? 